Dr. Wojoa, I want to move on and talk about our trade relations. China is still El Salvador's second largest uh, import origin. Um, every one in six items the Salvadorians bought was actually from China. Even amidst the pandemic in 2021, bilateral trade exceeded $1.7 billion dollars that is an increase of 56 percent actually uh, your country's goods are pretty popular in china i can say for a fact for example the salvadoran coffee which is available uh, in many cafes including uh, a cafe downstairs where i live here in beijing china um, going forward how do you hope the bilateral trade um, can move to the higher level well thank you for remarking the quality of our coffee we are aware that we produce one of the best coffees in the world not by the amount, but the, because the quality. So, and this is one of the three main products that we export to China. So the idea is to increase the level of our exports because uh, in addition to coffee, we also export to China the sugar uh, from the sugar cane with the commercial institution, the Chamber of Commerce from China, Chamber of Commerce of El Salvador, our new ambassador uh, appointed uh, in China, is playing a good role trying to make this uh, interchange uh, in between the private sector of the Salvador, private sector of China, and taking the government inside in order to facilitate uh, in the legal frameworks, in the tax uh, tax issues, uh, all the operation that could give more a boost of this commercial uh, interchange and the international trade. Since the establishment of diplomatic ties between China and El Salvador, the two sides have made historic breakthroughs in exchanges and cooperation in various fields. In November 2018, the two countries signed 13 cooperation agreements, including the MOU on the Belt and Road Initiative. At the end of 2019, El Salvador President Nayib Bukele paid a visit to China during which the two sides signed several framework agreements furthering bilateral pragmatic cooperation. On the last day of 2021, President Bukele announced on multiple social platforms that El Salvador will cooperate with China to build a new national stadium. As he wrote, this is a collaboration granted directly by President Xi and a sign of the friendship between the peoples of China and El Salvador. Netizens from other Latin American countries also applauded the project. Salvadoran brothers and sisters, you are not so small anymore. You are now giants in development and in many more things. A big hug from Colombia. This is an example to follow for the rest of Latin America in terms of the modern way of doing politics. Blessings and greetings from Costa Rica. This stadium is beautiful. It will be one of the most spectacular in all of the Americas. Greetings from Mexico. And also, as I understand, China is also working with your country in a number of infrastructure projects, uh, a library, a soccer stadium, among other things. Um, how are they going, Mr. Vice President? Well, so far, so good. But in addition, all the project that deals with some treatment for waters in one of the, our more emblematic projects, which is developing the tourism so that means that in the beaches, in the areas that the tourism is being attracting, because we have the best spot for surfing, uh, actually we have, uh, and we have been a host for international championship of, of surf, but the problem of the treatment of borders to, to, to go to the beaches is one of our main challenges. China has been in agreement to support us and bringing us all the plans for doing the proper treatment. So we appreciate that. We thank the government and the China people for this support. And it will give us, with no doubt, an input and a boost to our economic development.